So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Take three. All right, dub history. <laughs> I'm Prince Fatty. This is Ben from Nostalgia 77. Welcome to my studio. And we're here to discuss our next project, which is uh, Prince Fatty meets Nostalgia 77 in the Kingdom of Dub. Basically, whenever Ben would come down to mix with me, at the end, of course, I'd start playing around like I do. I'm mischievous behind the mixing desk, so I'd start popping some echoes or bringing the, the reverbs up. And Ben would always say, wow, man. Wow, yeah, put that mix down. Can't really use it right now, but, but yeah, put a vibe down. So over, over a period of time, these sort of random dub mixes started to, to just be there on the hard drives or whatever. It was an it was an eye opener to start recording with Mike, you know, because he had a lot of experience recording different types of music. But definitely, we realised that like my take on jazz appealed to him. You know what I mean? In in a way that was uh, uh, I don't know. I think it was just a little bit a little bit freaked out enough. I don't know. Whatever it was, you know what I mean? It was always. There was that little something there that's a bit different. And um, and that's what I like about Mike, do you know what I mean? He's like, with, with the sound, the sonic array of things, he wants to he wants to take you somewhere with that. It's not just like, here's the music, flat, you know, just a technical job. It's like, let's, let's get into it and, and make the music come alive. And that's what, you know, what, that's kind of what the dubs, they just do that, that's, that's just it. Mike expressing himself across, across some, of the, some of the music that I put together. What you are listening to is a dramatization. The events are fictional. And equipment wise, we use the same stuff. So when I actually came to, to mixing, a, obviously over the years I've mixed a lot of the jazz stuff with Ben here, or Ben's used my studio independently himself and mixed stuff, but the, the equipment that we have here, the tape machines, the echoes, the spring reverbs at the top, this one's like Lee Perry used to use, all these kind of things, that's really what, what brings this, the same thing. And it just wouldn't be possible now with software or laptops and things that everyone else uses. So it is a real, it's a real thing. I sit here to last day and a half wondering, do you really know who you are? 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 We've got some great singers uh, on the album. Uh, we've dubbed up different... Basically, Ben and I have been working for a long time, so we've looked at the whole catalogue of, of the work that we've been doing over the years, and we selected the cuts that were good for the dub. So some of the singers that were fortunate enough to be blessed by our selection include Lizzie Parks, Alice Russell, uh, Julie Tippett, Yosa uh, Pite, and uh, also not, let's not forget the musicians as well. And we kind of mixed it all up in a big cauldron of dubwise notes. For me, it's a bit too confederate or unionist or whichever was... Uh... You know what, I actually, I got it off a Cuban guy, I swapped it in America one time. But it's yeah, good, I thought, all right. I thought I'd kind of made an effort, but it turns out... The touch is the gold that you need, what, to have, <laughs> you, know? you need to have a bit of gold there, you know? It's not so big, <laughs> it really should be bigger or not, but, you know, too many downloads, my medallion's gone small. <laughs> You know, I need to increase the CD sales, bring them back, my medallions can go back to being how they should be. You know? When I started recording, it was really because of Mike, because he found me a lonely, uh, a lonely producer with just a computer, and, um, and he uh, inspired me a little bit to work with the musicians and helped me record the first show that we did which was at the Jazz Cafe and really basically he, he gave me some mentoring and then this record is all of the all of the recordings across the different albums that have been done yeah. um, 
he's just taken taken all the raw material and applied his science. Who's uh, who, who's been in the studio recently? Recently, uh, Marcia Griffiths, Big Youth, L16, Winston Reedy, Winston Francis, Dennis Al Capone, yeah, uh, Manu Chow, um, a few misfits like Holly Cook, a few others. <laughs> this is um, like the pension. Yourself. This is like the pensions office for so, for, for the reggae. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of reggae artists come through here, but you know, a lot of up and coming bands. At the minute, we're working on Horseman's album, so that's good. And uh, a lot of people have been waiting for that a long time, and uh, it'll be out soon. And uh, all the new, all the new material. Where can where can people hear it, or do they have to go to a show? They have to come and see me and the Horseman out on the sound systems to stay in tune. You, know? <laughs> you can't download me. <laughs> So right on, Ben. So what have you been doing recently? Well, I've been working for the uh, for the jazz mafia for Jamie Cullum, and um, and like the, you know, there's like a big community of musicians in London. They're all generally making jazz music. Um, so I'm like, I'm I'm installed up there, just just recording for them. Really. So you've taken over the jazz world, basically. Yeah, I mean, you know, the like In a ruthless um, fashion. I'm I'm on I'm on I'm on route to like New York where I'm gonna storm the Blue Note offices. Oh nice. And uh, take over Alfred Lyons uh, you know, chair. Yeah. Well give if anyone should have give me a give me a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't wanna discuss that. That's that's highly personal. Yeah. <laughs> But just to say, I've been trying to grow a beard for a long time. And we can't do it. <laughs> some of us are blessed. Yeah. In, takes... some, in one way, some of us are blessed than others. Definitely. It's, you know, we were given sign of we, were, we were given different talents. I'm, well, the thing is, I think you have to be wise to have a beard like that. And I'm definitely not wise, you know. So Ben's, Ben's a wise man. It's all good. He can be a teacher, you know. You have to be a wise man to be a teacher. Righteous, rebellious. <laughs> The good and the bad. Any more, I'd have to try and do an entry fee, you know?